Hey, I'm Amanda Wood here with Cody Jones at Everbank Field to wrap up Florida's 27-3 victory over the Georgia Bulldogs tonight. I think it's safe to say that Florida's defense put the dogs down early. They held them to just three points. They had four interceptions. We talked to John Bullard after the game. He said it should have been zero points. How was Florida's defense able to hold them so well? Yeah, you know, I, I think there's a lot of uncertainty coming into this one. You know, not really sure about what Georgia's quarterback situation was going to look like, what exactly they were going to do. But I think Florida really took the momentum out of it early, especially they basically eliminated the Georgia run game in the first quarter and even early in the second quarter. And I think when you make a, a, a guy, a quarterback that maybe isn't the greatest passer into a, into passing downs, I think that's when you had them, you saw them have the most success. I think that was a big part of it for this defense. They were able to do that, really able to stuff the run that way when you make a team one dimensional that early in the game. A defense as, as talented as this Florida one is really able to kind of tee off against the quarterback. And as the game went on, you saw him get to the quarterback with the pass rush a little bit more and make his life a little bit more difficult. So I think it was a combination of things. But if you don't take away that run early, this, this game could have gone a little differently. And on offense, Treon Harris, uh Quarterback Treon Harris didn't have the best game, but he was able to utilize weapons like Antonio Callaway, who had over 100 yards receiving tonight, and a touchdown. Now, Kevin, Kelvin Taylor had over 100 yards rushing, and he had two touchdowns. Coach McElwain said, we might as well make this his home stage. Uh, how was Treon Harris able to utilize those weapons, and how would you credit their offense? Yeah, you know, I think Harris was just okay today, but, but that's a big credit to him, though, that he was able to get them in the right run fits. He's able to hit guys down the field like Callaway there. Uh, Callaway is actually the first freshman in Florida history to have three games over 100 yards. So that's a pretty big deal for a school that's had a lot of good freshman receivers. Uh, you really saw him today, though. He always seems to have that one player where he can get behind the defense, and it's just a matter of hitting him. Did it against LSU, and then he was able to do it again today. So he was a big part of this game, but it really was all about Kelvin Taylor today. He has really he been nothing short of great in the, in the, the two games in these, the last two games in the stadium. Really showed that today. An offensive line is not what it was last year. That, that's pretty clear, and that's been clear throughout this entire season. But he was able to hit some holes today, and they were able to open some things up, especially in the second half of this game. That's when we saw Jordan Scarlett break loose a little bit as well. Uh, so it's just kind of a different, a different uh, half really for this whole and the entire offense in the second half, and uh, the, the run game was really, really good throughout the whole thing. And with this win, Coach McElwain is seven and one. Such an impressive first year for him. Uh, Trip Thurman said a reason why they were able to do so well this year is because of Coach Mack. Do you think he's the front runner for Coach of the Year yet? I think today probably went a long way for SEC Coach of the Year. Nationally, you look at uh, there's a lot of other guys. Obviously, what, what uh, at Memphis and Houston, a lot of other schools are doing things well. But they keep winning. I think he's got to be right in the thick of things because this is a team that was six or seven wins, or probably their projection eight, if you wanted to get really crazy. They won their seventh today. I mean, this is really impressive with three fa very favorable games coming up before the Florida State game to end the year. So what he's done, I mean, you can hear just hearing the players' voices. They understand that, uh, that they've got a head coach who knows what he's doing. It's really simple, and I think that's really uh, bred some trust in them. They really understand that they need to buy into what he's doing and it's been really easy for them to do that because of the results so far this year. All right well as Coach McElwain will say next one up <laughs> and we'll have you covered for it right here on FightingGators.com so keep it locked. For Cody Jones I'm Amanda Wood.